Leg, I know you're watching this right now. And I just want to talk to you man to man. I did not want to have to go about this this way. But you genuinely leave me with no other choice since you blocked my number, removed me as a friend on Discord, and deplatformed me from every single account that I had spent the last three years growing and busting my ass off for. You changed the password on the Instagram and kicked me off it. You changed the password on our Twitter and kicked me off it. You changed the password on our SoundCloud and kicked me off it. You changed the password on our Spotify and kicked me off it. A Spotify in which you're getting paid every single month for the music that I made. And you kicked me off the distro kid. So now every single month, you will be getting payments from my music and not be giving me one dime. You kicked, I can't even post music anymore because you kicked me out of my own SoundCloud and Spotify account. You took the Void channel, which had over 456,000 subscribers that I've been working on for two years. And I'm not even going to get into how I wrote 90% of the songs all by myself while you did nothing. But yet I still was kind to give you a 50-50 cut of everything the entire time. I'm not even going to get, that's for a whole, whole separate topic. But you took that away from me. You banned me from the Discord server that we started together, discord.gg slash park. You banned me from that. You abused all the power that I trusted you with as my friend. You abused it, and you used it all to backstab me. And after banning me from park, you had your new head managers that you had promoted go on a stage and say that I am a pizzo with no way to defend myself, making absolutely false claims on my name. Hope y'all know y'all favorite packer of pepper. <laughs> Funny. First of all, y'all need to get off leg dick because oh leg is the reason this nigga has a platform in the first place. So get the fuck off legs dick, nigga. Niggas don't give leg enough credit for what he done for Void God. and the community. So get off that nigga's dick. And that nigga a <laughs> oh. Fuck out of here. <laughs> the that guy is a loser. <laughs> fuck out of here. I have no way to contact any of my friends or any of the contacts that I've made over the last three years to help me. Since you have taken every platform away, I can't open any of my DMs, nothing. You have taken it all away, and you made sure to do that. Now let's get into what actually happened. Yesterday, I woke up at 5 a.m. and received a call alerting me that the pack on leg channel was now just leg. I went onto YouTube, and I was like, what the heck? What happened? Only to realize that all the information for the account had been changed. I tried signing to the Void account, changed. Everything changed. Every single thing that we shared ownership of, gone. Just like that. Then after realizing what happened, I went to go check my phone and message you to, you know, ask her what was actually going on. And all I had was one text message from you on my phone that said, that's it. As if I was just your employee and you just fired me from a job. As if just like that, just like that. I then texted you multiple times, called you multiple times, no response, as you blocked my number. I then went to Discord and realized that he had not only unfriended me on Discord, but had purged every single DM. You removed every single message you've ever sent me for the last two years to hide all the evidence. Then after that, I went to his own personal Discord server, discord.gg slash leg, and I saw a post you had made in the announcements tab, and I will read as follows. For those that are wondering why the channel is now just called leg, I will be addressing on stream later tonight. Me and Packard are going our separate ways, and I wish him the best of luck. Now, when you say going separate ways, it really makes it seem like this was a mutual decision. Um, it doesn't really make it seem like you removed everything from me without calling me, without messaging me, without even asking me at all, not even wanting to talk to me. You were too afraid. You knew you had no grounds to do this, so you were too afraid to even call me or message me to do this. Then, once he started receiving backlash in his server for it, once the people in his server started realizing what happened and started asking questions, he deleted all the VCs in his server and deleted all the text channels as well and made another post which reads this. It's crazy to think people believe I randomly woke up one day and decided to snake my friend and take the channel. This is so far from the truth. I will be explaining the situation tonight on stream. All the questions you have will be answered. All right. Well, I got my answer. I'm going to I'm going to realize why this horrific thing has happened to me. All my questions can be answered tonight on the stream. Well, you did that stream and you tried to give all the reasons, 
but it didn't really go well for you and it backlashed. And because of that, you tried privating the stream the second it ended so no one will see it. Luckily, one person I know recorded the stream, and I have it, and I will now be going through your entire stream explaining why you stole everything from me that I've been working for for the last year, three years, why you stole it, right? You're going to be explaining yourself, right? That's what you said. Everything will be explained. You're going to answer everybody's questions, right? I will now go through this, and I'll pick apart every single thing that you've said from the very beginning to the very end. Now, guys, before I go through this, I genuinely, from the bottom of my heart, want to apologize that the audio of the stream that you're watching has my voice talking over it because the person who recorded it was recording it when I was reacting to it and talking over it. So you may have to hear at some points me talking, wow legs talking over the stream. I did, I'm gonna do my very best to make it not as bad as possible, but I have no other choice because he privated the stream and deleted all the other copies. It's, it's the only thing I have, so I'm sorry. Let's get right into it. So, now he starts off the stream by saying, and as I started working with Pat God, I started see, seeing his like true character, like who he is for a person, right? I, I'm not gonna say that, but um, that he was working with me on diss tracks for a while, and after a while, he started seeing my true character. However, he then stated after this, after mumbling a couple times, that, but he's not going to get into that. Now, I want everybody here to notice a theme. There's going to be a theme throughout this entire stream. He's going to be making very broad claims, such as, I'm not going to get into that. This is the tip of the iceberg. It only gets worse. This is, this, there's so much more stuff behind the scenes. He's going to make a bunch of claims like these. Very broad accusatory claims without any specific events or evidence to back up anything he says at all. Let's get right into what he says. Oh, tell him say it. Everybody spam say it. Spam yeah, say it. Spam say it. While spam say it right now. Spam say it right now. Spam say it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I'm losing my train of thought, guys. I really like, I really like. No, you didn't lose your train of thought. You just didn't think this through at all. You did this live stream without having any actual real justification for what you did and assumed that because you were talking and I had no way to get on the live stream, and it was only you, that anything you said, any lies you made up, anything you said, the whole chat would just believe you and go along with it, and they'd be cool with it. Pacquiao was a good friend of mine, and it's, it's just really hard to, like, it really is. It really is. He said, Pat God was a good friend of mine, and it's really hard to talk about something like this or make something like this. So it's really easy for you to block me and steal everything from me, but it's just really hard for you to, you know, get on stream and give a justified explanation for why you did it. I mean, I fully understand. I mean, because you did it for no actual valid reason. But basically what I was saying, over time, Pat God showed his true signs. He's narcissistic. He's very manipulative. Oh my God. Very manipulative. You hear this, right? You hear and, this, right? Um, you hear he's this, right? He's very selfish. He's very selfish. Here comes Leg's first points onto why he stole everything from me. Starts with him saying that I'm very narcissistic, manipulative, and selfish. Now, Leg unfortunately doesn't provide any actual instances of me be acting this way towards him. He just pulls it out of his ass as a random justification for why he could do this, why he could steal everything from me. That I'm selfish. Let's keep watching. So throughout this channel, as you as you can see, uh, we made a bunch of diss tracks, but there's a lot of like just random like Pat God content. What? That he was just hosting. Dude, because why did you God, steal all the? What I basically wanted to do is like. Ever since we made this channel, he didn't want to be a, he didn't want to be a team. He just wanted to make it all oh, his. He's lying out of his ass. It was all. He then goes on to bring up the fact that I have a lot of random Pack God content on the channel. And what is he talking about? He's talking about the songs that I made and uploaded to the channel. I uploaded to the channel songs because I make music, right? And at any point during this this entire career, he could have went and made any song he wanted with anybody. He chose not to ever make a song, his own song, never. And never once did I tell him, you are not allowed to make a song. Only I can make songs. I mean, he literally chose not to do that. And he's trying to use that as a way to get at me. He goes on to say that ever since we made this channel, it's just been about all me. It's all me. He's portraying me to be a horrible teammate, right? So let me ask you a question. Like, if I was such a horrible teammate, a horrible person to you, why did you continue to work with me for two years, make two other channels with me, Visit me in person three different times. Have me fly to your house twice to meet you, okay? And three weeks ago, plan a whole trip with me where we w met up in New York to record music. If I'm just such a horrible partner, right? Why would you continue to stick with me for this long? If since ver the very beginning, I was just a horrible partner to you. Packout has to pick the beat. Packout has <gasps> to pick the target. It was always like, Packout wants to do this. Packout wants to do that. Now, Peerleg brings one of the 
first truths to the stream that he said, um, Pat God has to pick the beats and Pat God has to pick the targets. Now, like, thank you for actually telling the truth on this and because it was actually true. For every diss track we made, I actually did have to spend hours researching the targets we made and researching and finding beats to made. And you know why I had to do that, Leg? Because whenever I asked you to help me, you were unresponsive and were too busy doing whatever the hell you were doing in your life. And obviously, like, he was a cool dude. I didn't want to just kick him off the channel after we've done all this stuff, you know what I mean? Now, he does, he goes on to say, quote unquote, I don't want to just kick him off the channel after all that stuff, which I don't really understand what he's saying, but however, he is admitting to actually kicking me off the channel by saying that, because that's what he did. So he's admitting that he literally kicked me off the channel, but I mean, he didn't just kick me off the channel. I mean, he kicked me off of every single platform that we own, which I've, you know, said multiple times. So I just, so I, just I, I, as time went along, I just went along with it, went along with it, went along with it. We've talked, like, every time I've tried to confront him about stuff like this, he just will completely ignore it. Now he's saying that as time went along, he just went along with it. You know, like, like I'm, I'm holding him, like, I'm Bowser and he's Princess Peach, you know. I'm just holding him hostage. Horrible, disgusting partner, you know, just awful. And he was just sitting there, poor him, you know, just going along with my tyranny, you know. You want to know the truth about the channel and what he's saying? I wrote pretty much almost every single diss track on that channel, besides maybe the first like five or six in which I helped him write his. I wrote every single diss track because if I wasn't there grinding and fucking doing the work, guess what? Nothing would get done. Ever. Reason. Stage, Where is his reason? He has no actual saying, reason. He's I saying that I, I'm kicking like, me off because so I did all the work. Truth, and I'm going to explain. We're going to get into all this. Like this is. Yes, I made a stage in my Discord server saying you stole the channel because you did steal the channel and because the, my Discord server was the only platform that you couldn't steal from me. Now the fact that you're annoyed, it's, it's, it's actually quite comical. You're annoyed that I tried to use the only platform you left to me to try to give anybody my own defense, my own take. You're annoyed because you thought that you had everything covered. You forgot I had a Discord server apparently. You thought you had everything covered. We're going to talk about all this. So all your questions will be answered, but it's just crazy. Like, it's crazy how he's trying to flip the narrative like I'm the bad guy. It's just crazy Everybody, tell him it's he crazy. won't even Anyways, give me a platform to talk on the street. started from Void, right? No, I find it funny how he says all your questions will be answered. When the entire time he's streaming this, let me remind you, the entire chat is just spamming, what the hell are you talking about? Move Packet up. You are not even giving Packet a platform. Show proof for what you're saying the entire time. We'll show the chat. And guess what? He was sitting there looking at his camera just like this, reading the chat like this. Ignoring everything that they're saying because he knew the second he started streaming and the second he started running his mouth and letting all that diarrhea come out, he knew that he fucked up so badly. He realized that what he did was not justified, but guess what? He also realized something else. He already digged himself a hole. He already did what was done and everybody knows about it and now it's too late for him. He knows what he did was wrong, but now it's too late. What is he going to do? If he says, if he, if he admits to it, if he gives me anything back, everyone's just going to know what he did. So all he can do now is just hide and run away from it. That's it. That's all it. And, get, and as you're going to see in the video going forward, that's all he will do. Now we're here, right? This channel. This channel started so, this because me and Packard randomly one day were roasting on an Isaac Y video. And it blew up. It literally blew up. And it was, I don't know which one it was, but it was one of these videos. He then went to talk about our second channel, which used to be called Pack On and Leg, that's now just called Leg, um, where he said that we started it together, which is 100% true. We did start it together. And, um, oh, well, I don't have access to that channel anymore because guess what? He also completely ripped that from me too and stole it from me as well. The got boy us in channel? There and told him to do that. I started that. That was my channel. I got it to around 8,000 or 10,000 subscribers, and that's when I started working with Pack On. Leg then, in an attempt to help further justify his actions, say that he was the one who started the Void channel, and that he got it to at least 8k before I had come along. Now this is actually true. The Void channel used to be Discord packing content, however it was only at 5,000 subscribers. It was owned by Leg, and all it was was Discord packing content from Discord. Now I had come along and I met Leg, and I gave him the idea of making diss tracks, which we then started doing together. The diss tracks started blowing up, and we agreed to become 50-50 partners in work, and I busted my ass every single day since then to grow that channel. But because he was the one who officially started it, I am worth nothing. Because he had it, but when it was at 5,000 subscribers, if it hit 50 million, I am worth nothing. Now the other channel, he even admitted to, we started together at the same time. 
yet he still had no problem with just ripping that away from me as well. This there's channel was called Void Jr. And if you want to go up, there's probably a website where you can like view the history of the. Um, he unlisted all the old videos today the before he did this. He enlisted every old my, video. Like, what happened as well. to the fucking song? It we made everything. My accounts. So when people are saying, "Oh, you stole Pat," no, that's not true. When we when we started off the channel, tell him to they, invite they were me, bro. My accounts, right? He then goes on to say about the second channel, Void Junior, also which turned into the Pack on Leg channel, the one I was just talking about. It was my account as well. Now here's what you guys need to understand. He's not talking about that it was his YouTube account, like he started it and he was growing it, and that you know I just came along and just latched on midway. He's talking about that when we started the channel specifically, it was his Google email account that the channel was started on. And because we'd agreed to, and I put my trust in him, you know, to share a Google email account that he then ripped from me, right? Because it was his, originally his Google email account, and that he had the power to switch the password on and take me off it and change everything, that he was justified in his actions. I can't believe he's actually using that as a point. It's disgusting. So like, recently because i don't i don't i don't want to get into like specific events because i'm not i listen guys the because there is no specific games, events right? he's lying the, the he's kid's lying. life i don't want to talk shit about him i'm just trying to like explain my perspective he then says word for word now let's get into what happened recently because i don't want to get into specific events i don't want to slander pat god's name like all you are doing right now with this stream is slandering my name you are slandering my name and not giving me any platform to defend myself while you were doing it. Leg now begins to get into the quote-unquote recent events. Um, we're actually going to now hear some specific events of what happened. Now, if you go through the stream and we're going to look at every single one, there is a total of five, five different specific reasons that he is listed in this stream for why he felt that it was his place and that he had the right to do what he did. We're going to look at every single reason, and I'm going to talk about each one. The other day, y'all saw on stream, when I... When I came on stream and Pacquiao was packing Jay, notice how he was turning Jay down. He was muting up, trying to talk to y'all and say like, oh, Bro, blah, blah, what blah. is he saying? Was call. You guys he, understand, he, he just took three years of my life and what is he even saying? That's what he does. That's what Pacquiao does. He manipulates situations in his favor. So reasoning number one for why he stole three years of my work is because when I was packing, which if you guys don't know this, packing is basically just... Two people go on a call and and like have a roast battle with each other, like a rap battle, pretty much. Okay, just think about it as like a, like in a rap battle. That's pretty much what it is. I was lowering some guy's audio while we were having a pack battle. The guy who, by the way, was loud miking, who was twice as loud as me. I lowered him to the same volume as me so I could actually have a chance to speak. That's one of his reasons. I lowered somebody's volume. Oh my bad. And for inviting people to the group call to watch us pack. That is one of his five reasons. Let's keep looking at the other four and see if it gets any better from here. Think, think about this, guys, guys right? And I really, I really want y'all to think about this from a complete You're unbiased You're a fucking liar. You're a horrible, disgusting person. This channel person. was called Leg and Pack God, right? You're it's a, a disgusting team channel. person. It's not just Pack God's channel. It's not just Leg's channel. You are a, it's not just Leg's channel. You are a disgusting a person, channel, right? It's a team channel. You are a disgusting person. So that means Leg. we're supposed to make videos together, stream together. Everyone it's just been Pack God streaming. It's because he never was here. In his server, he was never making here. Making his own server, making a whole new account. You know, he has his own server his Discord. Now we're going to get into number two of Leg's five point reasoning for why he took away three years of my work. Because I was streaming and didn't invite him to join. And while I was streaming for two weeks, Leg was in Los Angeles partying and working on starting his own clothing brand. Yeah. Yeah, he wasn't even at his house. And then when he got back to his house, he didn't message me for five days. I will now show the DMs on the screen of me reaching out to him for the span of five days after he returned with literally no response. Me literally asking him to get on stream with me. He decided not to. In fact, the only time that he actually cared about streaming and the only time that he came back to the stream is when he started to realize that I was actually pulling Big number streaming. Once he saw that I was getting 1,200 viewers per stream, right? After, because we started, we were only getting like 200, 250. After two weeks of grinding, I was all the way up to 1,200. And when he saw that, that's when he came back. When he saw that I had single-handedly, while he was gone, gained the channel 30,000 subscribers in the last two weeks, that's when he decided to come back. That's when he decided to start putting in himself into the channel. It's because he never was here. In his server, he was never making here. his own server, making a whole new account. You know, he has his own server, Discord.com. I've been asking to be in it. He's then saying that I made my own Discord server. 
Now, you also have your own Discord server leg, discord.gg slash leg. We both made them at the same time. And if you remember, it's actually on the channel. It's called 100 Pack Odds vs. 100 Legs, in which we both made our own Discord servers. The only difference was, you never put any work into yours, and I actually had good people around me that were helping me grow my server, and you didn't care about yours. So you're mad that I actually put the time and the effort into my server to grow it, while you did nothing for yours, and yours is dead. Y'all saw me the other day. I was trying to get added to the Gideon thing, but he, he wouldn't even add me. He this dude is no me. reason. Do you guys hear this, and right? He has no reason. He stole everything from me for nothing. He has no reason. Bro, if you, I, can, I can play back the live stream. No one opened the door in his room. No one came in the room, bro. Now we're going to be moving into point number three, that I wouldn't add him to a call when I was packing Gideon on a stream. Now, some of you may know, while Leg was in Los Angeles doing whatever he was doing, and I was grinding here on my stream, I was in Gideon's talent show for like six hours um, all night long, working my ass off, and I actually won the talent show, and several had several viral clips of me packing Gideon and Sneeko go viral on TikTok. Okay, if you were in that stream, you know it. It's on my TikTok page. You could see it right now, okay? Because of that, Gideon asked me, okay, he reached out to me, and he asked me to come into another stream and pack someone. Now, Leg, of course, because the leech he is, once he starts seeing success, he comes running right back, was like, yo, dude, add me too. Now, if you watched that live, you would know that everything went wrong the second I joined that call. My headset disconnected, my PC crashed, and my dad started yelling at me while I was doing it. It all went to shit. And I am so sorry, Leg, that you were so offended that during all that chaos that was going on, I forgot to add you to our Discord call. I am so sorry to her that I hurt your ego like that. My bad. I genuinely, from the bottom of my heart, apologize. Relating to the same topic of Gideon, Gideon had DM'd me on Twitter asking for my phone number. However, you replied to the tweet, and you said that you didn't know what my phone number was, even though we've had each other's phone numbers for two years, and you instead gave him your phone number and told him to call you instead. I mean, you really want to talk about being weird and being a snake? Once again, you are just being a leech. You came back once I did the hard work and you tried to take everything, which I mean you did, so good job. You stole everything from me, but let's keep, let's keep going on with, with, with Leg's reasoning. That's the first three reasons to why he stole three years of my life. Let's keep going on. And he didn't, and it's, and it's not even, that's petty. It's not even over just that. It's just these little things he does, guys. Y'all don't understand. There's these so little things, and then the you scenes, stole bro. everything from me over he these quote unquote these, little he's things so I do. selfish. It's all about just him. Hey. Then he goes on after explaining his point number three, me not adding him to a Discord call. He says that it's petty, and that's not even the reason why. Well, I mean, yes, you're right. At least you can acknowledge that. It's extremely petty. But he says that it's actually because of it's a bunch of little other things that all just happen behind the scenes. You know, once again, like I said, this is a theme throughout the video, him making very, very broad, broad accusations without actually bringing any specific events or evidence to back up anything that he's in saying this entire time. And remember, this was supposed to be the stream, the stream where he explained everything, where he answered everybody's questions, but you were really not doing a good job. Do you know, do you guys understand how many other Discord packers there are? This is the saddest shit I've seen in my channel. There's so many other ones. That I've wanted, like, to, I wanted to collab with other packers. He's lying out of his ass. People on. What is but he Pac even God's saying? Been like, no, I don't, I don't want to do that. I just want to, I just want. What is he I, even saying? Us. We should just be the main. I just want to be the. You know what I'm saying? It's just been I, I, I. It hasn't been ass. us. I haven't felt like a. I haven't felt like it's been a team. He then enters on to point number four of his five point extravaganza, which is talking about other Discord packers, and saying that he wanted to collab with other Discord packers, but I didn't want to. Like, what are you talking about? If you actually paid time to watch any of the streams I did while you were in LA, every single night, and everybody in those streams can vouch for that, I literally held packing tournaments on stream every single night. All I was doing for four hours was just promoting other people packing. That's it. That's all I did. And I put so many people on over those days. I put so many people on over those streams. And for you to say that just shows how truly disconnected you are from reality. And also, you are just blatantly lying. Never once did you come up to me and said, yo, here's the specific dude that I want to make a video with so we could put him on. That never happened. And if you really had someone that you wanted to make a specific video with, you were a 50% co-owner of the channel. You could do anything you want and post it on the channel. You can make any video you want and post it. I can't stop you, just like you can't stop me. It's a 50-50 teamwork. We both are co-owners, right? But you choose not to, and you want to know why you didn't do it? Because if I'm not pushing those videos along, you don't do anything. 
You don't do anything because you are lazy and you wait for me to do all the work and that is what you've been doing for the last three years of our partnership. We now enter into the fifth and final point of Legs 5 point, expose Pat God, reason for why he took three years of my work, stole everything from me, extravagance. So the fifth and final point, hopefully this will really carry his argument because those other four points were the most minuscule, petty things I've heard in my entire life. Well, let's go to point number five. And I, I already know he's manipulating y'all in his Discord, but here, I'll show y'all. Um, Everybody, just spam to, spam spam to let me go on. Spam so to let me example, go on. This is a recent situation, right? Spam to let me go so on. We have an editor, right? We have an editor named Somber. I'll show you right here. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This, and I don't dude, know why dude. he did this. Talking about team, right? We're talking give about me a platform, team because I'll talk right? about this. Your I'll team talk members, about this. your business partner I'll, should I'll, always have your back, Give me a platform, and I'll talk about this. Give me a platform. He scammed this editor. He scammed this editor for three months, and I did everything to help this editor. I told this editor to go on Instagram. I told this editor to go on Instagram and expose leg. He scammed AMB, her for three months. I said, you want to know what to do? Go try to expose him because I'm not, I don't know how you're going to get paid. He scammed uh, a fucking editor and that's why he made, let me off. I think he made Chrome Beretta. This is one of Disgusting. the songs he made. Filthy fucking, he's a filthy human being. I think Somber made he's this one. He's a filthy human being. Anyway, I want you, you get, to understand Somber that. makes edits, filthy. right? And I, pay, I told Somber, I want to edit made. And I paid Somber, and I, 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 didn't, I didn't pay him, but I I, I, I didn't asked pay him. Somber, you're let right, me right? get an edit made, bro. I need an edit, right? So he starts making me this edit. Yep. And over time, the edit, there's, I need changes with the edit. The audio yep. needs to be changed. You know, sometimes stuff takes a while. Sometimes Three months. Just, Three months. Just I can show thing, my DMs. Right? Tell like, I'll show my DMs. I'll go on stream right now. I'll show my DMs with Somber. So it took like a month tell or two go on my, to, to tell make this video, right? Tell them I'll go on my fucking Somber, stream right now. I'll show all my DMs. We're done. I'll show all my DMs. And I paid Somber for so many I'll show all my DMs with Somber. Everything. Every DM I've ever had with him. Over 20 different edits. I've never scammed Somber. There's never been a Somber literally said, he's scamming me. I'll show you all the DMs. I'll show you all the DMs. He messaged me every single day that he was- I have this editor in my life, right? So, just just listen to this because it's just crazy to me, right? So, Somber starts messaging Pat God because I haven't paid him yet. And I told him, I'm going to pay you at the end, bro. Just just give me some more time to get this completed. And three months. You're, done, you're going to get your $100. Three months. It was $100. What Pat God you does. Really, spam, you is still haven't paid him in Somber, the chat yeah, right now. You're going to get your money. What Pat God does, and I'm going to show the screenshot right now. Pat God tells Somber to start exposing me on, I, in, on Instagram. Like, make a story that he scammed you. I don't know what else to say. What type of team friend partner does that? Because you were scamming him! Why would you tell the editor to expose your friend on Instagram? As he goes on to explain in this clip, we had an editor named Somber, who he admitted on stream he didn't pay for his work, had him edit a video, made him wait three months. He didn't pay him for three months. And every single day, that somber dude was messaging me, asking me what happened to Legs Money? What's happened to Legs Money? What happened to Legs Money? For three months, after three months of me, and every day I would tell him, I'd say, Leg, you gotta pay somber. You gotta pay somber. Oh, I don't have a PayPal. Oh, I can't do it right now. Oh, I'll do it later, I promise. No, no, he never did it. He never did it. And after three months of somber asking me to do that, yeah, you know what I told Somber? I said, I said, Somber, I don't know what to tell you anymore. If if he's not responding to you, he won't do it. I'm asking him every day. Go on Instagram and publicly out him and force him to do it. Put him in the pressure. Like I I am not I do not control leg. He's making his own decisions and he needs to see the consequences of his actions. So let me get something straight. His fifth and final point, the reason why he's mad at me, is because he's getting exposed for not paying an editor. That he has not actually paid. Like, Talk about I respect it. Packard. Packard doesn't listen. You're I'm not taking away anything from Packard. Packard has, has done a ton of work on this channel, a ton of work on Void. Yes. Hours, nice. blood, sweat, and yes. tears and into this channel. And you took it all away. And I, yes, he has. And he I'm just admitted y'all saying I'm a scam Packard. That's, 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 that's so, so far, far from the truth. Like, then goes on to say that I've put hours and hours and blood, sweat, and tears into this channel. Thank you, Leg. At least Leg has finally said a truth, okay? Leg is acknowledging the fact that I've literally put my blood, sweat, and tears into this channel. Days and days, and probably thousands of hours of work. And even though you acknowledge that, you still didn't even feel remotely bad about what you did. I mean, do you even have a soul, man? He will get all of the money that I owe him on September 1st. Once again, he is also telling the truth when he says he still owes me money. He actually owes me a lot of money, and he claims, as far as that text message when he sent me this morning, that he's going to send me what he owes me September 1st, but it's hard for me to believe that, consider he blocked me on every platform, and he's not even bringing up the fact that he's going to be getting paid every single month for the rest of time from the revenue that these videos make, the videos that I made for both channels, the, the revenue that my songs made, 
He's only going to pay me September 1st, and then he's done. So he's just going to be profiting off the rest, all my work for the rest of his life, and I'm going to get nothing. Thank you, like You're a great person. Bam, I had Pac people message me back on saying I stole the channel from him, just randomly blocked him, and stole all of his money. That's so not true at all. Um, well, actually, yes, like you did. You did steal the channel from me. You even said you did earlier in the stream. You did block me, and you did take my money and refuse to give it to me. Rats. YouTube? has been like and you just admitted to it for everyone to see it's just been me you just admitted to everyone to see and guess what bitch it's been so tiring bro and it's not against the law what you just did you think you're gonna get away with it he then goes on to say that youtube is not fun anymore and this hurts me because to me youtube was fun and to me i loved going on stream every night and i loved entertaining you people and i loved putting on a show for you and making you guys happy and i appreciate all the message you sent guys i love doing youtube now clearly he doesn't but even though he doesn't like doing YouTube, he still felt the liberty to take away everything I had so then he can continue to be unhappy doing YouTube while I just have nothing. I mean, come on. If y'all well, don't bitch. believe me, everybody, y'all believe, believe that I randomly... Listen, if y'all believe I randomly stole the channel from Pac-God, just keep spamming call Pac-God, blocked him and just stole keep playing money, call Pac -God. feel free to go subscribe to Pac-God. That's literally what you did. You randomly stole the channel from me, blocked me, and stole all my money. That's literally exactly what you did. I mean... I mean, did you not just admit to all of that this entire stream? I am so confused. So Packard can call me off stream and we can talk about this off stream, but Let's I'm not going to allow him to make a publicity stunt. We're not doing that, bro. Now, this is a crucial part of his stream. He goes on to say that Packard could contact me off stream. However, I'm not going to let him come on stream and talk about this, right? Because I don't want him to throw a publicity stunt. He's literally saying, that he doesn't want to give me a platform because he doesn't want me to expose the truth of what actually happened. He says instead he can message me off stream, which by the way, is a complete lie. You know why? Because he blocked me on my phone in my Discord. I have no way of contacting him at all. Back, Back to what I was saying, saying. Pacquiao's gonna get his money. money. I'm also gonna not, not only give him the money that he's owed right now, now but I'm gonna, gonna pay him another month. month. Just, just because, because I'm nice. nice. Just to, oh, just, just because you're because nice. He's done so much work for this channel and I know videos are still gonna make money. He then goes on to say that <laughs> not only am I going to pay Pac God the money for this month, I'm going to pay Pac God the money that his YouTube channel makes for the next month too because I'm nice. Because he put so much work into this channel, I'm going to be nice, right? I'm going to be the big guy in here. I'm going to pay him for an extra month of work. Well, you know, after that month, he's done. I mean, I'm just going to profit off his work for the rest of my life and he's going to get nothing. But because I'm nice... You know, I'm acknowledging you put in all this hard work, so I'm going to give him, you know, one more month, one more month of pay. By the way, just so you guys know, the way that our system works, I only get paid for each month, one month after. So I only get paid for August at the end of September. I only get paid for July at the end of August. So at the end of August, I'd be getting paid for July. At the end of September, I'd be getting paid for August. So he's actually not giving me anything. He's just giving me what I'm literally owed and then stealing everything else. I'm, I'm sorry. Legs the stole the, the channel from I'm just as sad as y'all. Legs like, stole the channel from Pat. I've, I, guys, I've pleaded with him so many times. I've tried to talk this out. He hasn't he even called me once. He didn't even give me it's a chance to call him. Way or you're wrong. He then goes on to say he's quote unquote pleaded with me, but as I can show, he hasn't reached out to me once about this. And I actually will go and read you the DMs that he sent me before this. I'll read you every DM that he sent me before this in the like the last week. Let's see him pleading with me. This is what Legas sent me. He said, word for word, after not talking to me for like two weeks of nothing, he said, bro, you've been moving mad weird lately, telling an editor we have used many times that I'm scamming him, which he did. All you do is stream and advertise your own personal shit. Yes, all I do is stream because um, that's what a YouTuber and a streamer does. You know, they stream. All you do is nothing. Um, like, this doesn't feel like teamwork. Yeah, it really never did feel like teamwork when you didn't do any work, you know? Um, whenever you want to, whenever we record something, you always try to be the spotlight and never think of the video as a team idea. Now, I have absolutely no idea what that means. Like, if you want to come on here and explain that a little, that'd be great. You selfish as fuck sometimes, bro. Like, if you want to go do your own shit, just leave. But it's going to stop. He said, quote unquote, but it's going to stop. I'm not dealing with this anymore. And I'm not arguing either on, I don't got time for that. He said, it's going to stop. I'm not. So he's acting like he's my boss or something. And he's saying, if you don't stop streaming and if you don't stop promoting yourself as a human being, it's going to stop. And guess what, guys? 
it stopped. He took everything away from me, and that's what happened. I'll show. I showed the the screenshot on on DMs. And you want to know? You want to know why this happened? The real reasoning for leg? Well, there it is. He sent it in the DM. He sent why he did it, and that's it. After that, I got nothing. After that, I got nothing. Nothing. You will get your cut on September first. No call. No text. Nothing. My if house. God wants to talk. And I fed this dude. Trying to and gave him a place a to stay for two weeks. Come up on stage or make a stage for two he weeks. Can call me like a man, or he can he, he can message my phone like a man. He then goes on to say, if I want to talk to him instead of coming up on a stage and making a publicity design. So if I want to talk to him instead of having a platform to defend myself, that like a man, I can message him or call him privately and deal with this like grown adults. Well. Even though he blocked my numbers and left me with no way to contact him, I have actually figured out a way to call him privately. I have an interesting story for you guys. Knowing that Leg had no intention of actually contacting with me and dealing with this like a quote-unquote man, I made an alt Instagram account and DM'd the Void Court Instagram, you know, the Instagram that we made together, that we own, that he stole from me. And I said, do you guys do features? He said, yeah. I said, how much? He said, $300. After saying the price of what the stream was, I said, is there any way we can call for a minute and I can show you the song and see what you think about it? I will pay you obviously up front for the feature, but just want to talk to you at least before I send the $300, which is a lot to me. I even went as far to send him an aesthetic rap beat to his email. I go on the alt discord account, call him, right? And of course he's going to pick up because he's greedy and he wants the $300. Of course, now he'll pick that up. You know, I'm not worth his time, but he'll pick that up. And then once I join the call and confront him and say, I'm here to talk in private, you know, I'm, I'm here privately. Let's all see how he quote unquote acts like a real man. Let's all see what Leg's response is, you know what I mean? I, he doesn't think I should have a platform to defend myself. He thinks that we should talk about this privately, right? So let's see when I actually finally got him in private to talk to him, what he actually does. Let's roll the clip. No, um, what is like, what's your, do you have a hook or like, what, what am I doing? A verse, the hook, like what am I doing? Oh, uh, Leg. Uh huh. This is Pat God. I was wondering if you wanted to talk in private, like you said you did. Since since now we're in private talking, you still want to talk in private about what happened? Call me like a man, or he can he can message my phone like a man. I've pleaded with him so many times. I've tried to talk to him. This is the end. Of As the I started working with Pat God, I started seeing seeing his like true character, like who he is for a person, right? Yep. He just leaves the VC. Like, you know you are on the wrong with this. And that's why you're hiding. That's why you refuse to talk to me. And that's why you give me any platform to defend myself. And it hurts me, guys, that I've had to come on here and do this. But I've been done so wrong with this that I have no other choice but to come on here and say what actually happened. Guys, I have a new Instagram and Twitter that I had to start for obvious reasons that I'm going to put links of in the chat. If you want to really support me, man, the best thing you guys could do is just help spread this video. Like he's trying to hide this as much as he can. He's trying to rip away my platform, but we could combat this if we work together and you guys help me spread this video. Seriously, I need your help. All right. I know you guys are an amazing community and I know that we've been together for a long time. We've been through a lot and I know you guys got my back. So please help me guys, please. Besides that, I hope you all have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for giving me your time and attention. I genuinely appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. And hopefully, just hopefully, justice will be served.